welcome to my hospital at Ranaghat, India. This is a totally unedited FECO surgery. You may consider this as live surgery. The main incision has been placed on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. One side port is made on the left side of the main incision. The eye is deep seated and there is pulling of ring lactate fluid over the corneal surface. The anterior capsule is incised with a 26 gauge needle. The capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is held with a uterata forceps and in this case with anti-clockwise movement a continuous curvilinear capsular axis is being performed. That's it. The axis is done. Now hydro dissection. Fluid is passed just underneath the anterior capsular rim. The needle is advanced little towards the equator and then fluid is injected. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized and you could see that the nucleus moves freely. Hydro is done now little visco is injected into the anterior chamber now the tip of your handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. Here it is the machine being used is Oatly Cataryx 3 and this is direct job. After two three sculpts bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus, hold the nucleus firmly and chop it. Rotate the nucleus, hold it again and chop it another place. This free nuclear fragment can be emulsified now itself or later. This is the other heminucleus, it is also chopped and now we have four pieces four fragments of the nucleus. Each nuclear fragment is emulsified with ultrasonic energy and it is removed. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60 percent. Fluorite is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is the last button piece must be very careful during emulsification of this last fragment. I usually remove the chopper. What happens is the antechamber becomes more stable because leakage from the side port stops and I can very safely emulsify the last piece with the same setting in this machine. And now cortical cleanup is to be done. I have made only one side port and I have decided to use 23 gauze Simcoe cannula. A little bit of viscoelastic substance is injected. It keeps the antechamber formed for some time and during this time I can remove the cortex. So most of the cortex from the inferior aspect is removed. Now the cortex from the upper part is removed. And now some lens matter that sticks to the corneal, uh, that sticks to the posterior capsule is polished out. And now, in this case, we have selected a foldable intraocular lens. This is little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule. And now here goes the intraocular lens. The lens is to be placed in the capsular bag. Here it is. The leading haptic goes into the bag and with a nudge of the left hand instrument, the trailing haptic also goes into the capsular bag. So, the surgery is done. Let this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is hydrated. I always a final cleanup of the anterior chamber. And this is the final lavage anterior chamber the fluid jet 
cleanse the corneal endothelium of viscoelastic substance at this time. That's it. The surgery is done. You can see that the anterior capsular rim has overlapped the optic of the intraocular lens all around, indicating that it is a good rexus. Thank you very much for watching. The aim of these videos is to inspire you to improve your skills. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.